Welcome back. Some call it a hidden gem in Baltimore. Evergreen Museum and Library on Charles Street may be a place you want to add to your must-see places this summer, or you can even check out the new book, Evergreen, that'll take you inside by just turning page after page. And joining me now this morning with more information is Jim Abbott with Evergreen Museum and Library. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. I was telling you during the commercial break, I'm still pretty new to Baltimore, so I was excited to flip through the pages of this book to see what's inside before going there. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the history behind Evergreen. Well, we're one of two historic house museums owned and operated by Johns Hopkins University. And we've actually been a part of the university since 1942. And we're a museum of both historical art, um, library, as well as um, a venue for contemporary artists. Wow. And 25 acre campus that um, we um, celebrate Shakespeare every summer with the Baltimore Shakespeare Factory. Um, and th the house itself, the museum, is an 1850s house that's been added to um, through the decades oh. and many libraries, many art galleries, etc. So it's an exciting place. You'll have to come by and see it. So much ri richness inside of that. And I was reading there's more than 50,000 objects to see, including the art. And, right, absolutely. Um, the paintings by Modigliani and Picasso and Vuillard and Bonard and uh, um, Miguel Covarrubias, great Mexican artist. Um, so it's, it's a gem, as you noted, um, and oftentimes we're sort of like the Statue of Liberty if you live in Manhattan. How many people really go to see the Statue yeah, of Liberty? Yeah, right? I like that. Baltimore needs to be discovered by its residents, but we're also internationally recognized because wow. of collections of work by Ignacio Zuluaga and, and um, Leon Box to the Ballet Russe. So wonderful things. How impressive. All right, so we're taking a look on the, uh, so through some of the pictures of the book today. There's a launch event going on because this book is brand new. Tell us about that. There's a launch um, today. It's beyond the pages, three to six o'clock at um, Evergreen. And it's uh, $45 for uh, members and uh, 55 for non-members. And the entire house is open. There are caterers, musicians, wow. and it's just a celebration. It's opening up the doors, allowing people to see the collections in a new way. What do you think is the main draw? Why should people you know, go out and come to this museum library? Um, people should go to a museum in general because you <laughs> yeah. cannot have, um, survive a day without being inspired. And so um, whether it be the fine art or the architecture, the fabulous interiors, the, um, the, the paintings, the sculpture, um, one feels reborn. Um, and uh, even walking the grounds, 25 acres of formal gardens, naturalistic landscape, it's kind of hard not to enjoy Evergreen. Wow. I love how you said the inspiration. I already, just by you talking about it, it's inspiring me. So tell us, where can we get the book and where can we find the museum and library? Well, you can buy the book through Evergreen Museum and Library. And um, th that is, uh, you can go to museums.jhu.edu, um, but you can also find the book in um, bookstores around, around the city. And of course, there's a thing called Amazon as well. Oh yeah, that thing. That thing. <laughs> um, but the, the book is published by JHU Press, and okay. they've done a fabulous job. All right, Jim, thanks so much for coming in this morning. We Thank appreciate you. it. It's a big book with lots of big pictures, even better.